Hello everybody, I'm from Bonds here and in this tutorial, I will be taking you through how to create an ERC20 token with Bonds and its boilerplate. Right in this video, we will be using Bonds SDK and of course, we will be using the boilerplate. So we won't be using the ERC seven twenty boilerplate. So we'll be using ERC twenty. So let's just go to last trust triple, and we'll be using this. This is what we'll be using, and the React boilerplate, to be precise. So right here, just log in, or if you don't have an account, sign up. But I would prefer login. After then, you would see some couple of decentralized applications you've created. I've created more than this, but well, let, let's just move to this. And your custom chain should be firstly, you need to connect your wallet, MetaMask, and of course, accept it. After doing this, move on to okay. Your 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 testnet is rank B, just as you can see here. So it says a chain ID automatically for you. Next, so now we'll be creating simple token. That's a simple ERC twenty token. After this, we'll set a name for the token. So what do I want the name to be? Um, maybe. right and same thing so deploy next you accept a transaction from metamask while wow, this is still loading so yeah confirm to confirming go back to your dashboard and you get all your information you also get your dap and api key in the in the client sdk section by the side um, navigation so just waiting for this to get deployed right so done back to dashboard and here is the dashboard you can see your wallet address rank b testnet everything is here and so what we'll be using here what we'll be using to connect our SDK to our boilerplate itself is this client SDK. Yeah, so we'll just be doing both here, and then that moves us back to this. Just install the zip file. Yeah, yeah, I see 20. You can actually name it anything you want. So next. So this is it, right? And next, you actually move into your VS code, of course. So create a new window. So what we'll be doing here is this, um, open the folder, after opening the folder, we move into the main thing, that is ERC20 meeting boiler please of course, and then use react folder, after using this, 
open yes and yes here we go just go to your terminal dollar dot nope dot dot env that's to create an env file so an env file will help you link your bond sdk to this so let me just show you how it works now so just copy this so you need your dap id and api key so this is your dap id remove it put it here your api key remove it copy and paste here then save your work of course so all of this code whatever doesn't it's not of your business so actually all you just need is the main work itself so that that is the dot mg file so now let's just go install the npm modules now we move to install after doing this we will to go run it itself so i actually think it's done so we move to the next step right and so and then we, I think we, sh we need to go check Bond SDK. Because I, I think Bond actually has an SDK and that is where everything runs from backend. So just copy this, put it in your terminal, install. So nothing much after this, just run start and then deploy your token, of course. npm run starts so there you go yeah so you can mint your erc20 if you are the owner then just to one then means confirm after confirming transaction was sent in success okay so go check it as scan copy your wallet address Just if you don't know it has can here is it has can and just go copy your address and then metamask done so copy it and there you go enter 28 seconds or 29 seconds ago okay yes so you can actually see this this is it so this is a tony prc20 token so that is it that is how to actually create an ERC20 token with bonds very easy and yeah accessible to everybody actually so thank you very much for watching this video if you really do like this like this video like it of course then of course you have to give it a thumbs up 
then you can actually share with people and subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this and better than this so thank you very much can't wait to see you in the next video bye